हेलो एंड वेलकम टू डॉक्टर रणिमा उपाध्याय केमिस्ट्री इन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड केमिस्ट्री लेक्चर वीडियोस द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडेज वीडियो इज सरफेस टू वॉल्यूम रेशियो एंड इट्स इफेक्ट्स ऑन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नैनो मटेरियल्स बट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक यू टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट डन इट सो फार एंड ऑल्सो टू शेयर दिस वीडियो अमंग योर फ्रेंड्स फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग I have formatted this video also in the question answer format. So let's begin. What is the relationship between particle size and surface area to volume ratio? As the particle size decreases, the surface area per unit volume increases. At nano scale, what happens to surface to volume ratio? The surface to volume ratio increases many folds at nano scale. this results into materials with unique and promising properties in almost all the fields of science and technology what does it mean it means that the properties of the nano materials are size dependent why is large surface area to volume ratio in nano materials important the large surface area to volume ratio of nanoparticles opens many possibilities for creating new materials and facilitating chemical processes an increased surface area to volume ratio means availability of a large area for activity on the object's surface thus making a remarkable change in many important properties such as optical electrical mechanical magnetic and chemical properties of the materials at nano scale compared to their bulk counterparts what is the ratio of surface area to volume the surface area to volume ratio abbreviated as savr is also called the surface to volume ratio and can be denoted as capital s a is to capital v it is the amount of surface area per unit volume of an object or collection of objects and is measured in units of inverse distance why is increased surface area important in materials if an object has more surface area then there are more places on it for other chemicals to bind or react with it due to the increased interactions between the object with its environment to which it is exposed for example fine powders offer greater reaction speed because of the increased surface area compared to a solid how do surface area to volume ratios vary between bulk materials and nano materials nano particles have very large surface area to volume ratios compared to the same material in bulk as there is a reduction in the size of the object of any shape there is a remarkable increase in the surface area to volume ratio of the object thus making it more exposed to environment and reactions giving more number of active sites how do properties change at nano scale substances at the nano scale level have a greater surface to volume ratio compared to the same volume of material made up of bigger particles this helps them to react very quickly small particles have a greater percentage of atoms on their surface which accounts for the increased surface to volume ratio and enhanced activity on the surface resulting into significant effect on the properties of nano materials can you show with the help of the various shapes of the objects how the savr increases with the reduction of the size of the object yes let us try with the help of various shapes let us take the example of a cube we all know that the volume of a cube is given by a cube where a is the length of its sides or edges let us now consider the cube with a side length of 10 units then the volume of the cube is given by a cube which will be equal to 1000 area of each side is 10 square 
that is 100 and we all know that a cube has 6 sides therefore the surface area will be 6 into 100 that will be 600. Now calculating the SAVR that is surface area by volume we will get 0.6 as the result. On reducing the cube size with a side length of 5 units, that is we are just making the side length half of 10 and calculating the SAVR, we get the value of the SAVR to be equal to 1.2 which is double the value of the SAVR when we took the side length as 10. So we are making the side length half and the Value of the SAVR is doubled. Now on further reduction of the size of the cube to 1 unit, we get the SAVR equal to 6. So what does it indicate? It indicates that we decrease in the size of the cube from 10 to 5 to 1. The value of SAVR increases from 0.6 to 1.2 to 6. And what does it prove? It proves that with decrease in the size of the object, the surface area to volume increases. Therefore, SAVR is an important factor that plays a significant role for the properties of materials at nanoscale. Now we can see that how in a sphere, the decrease in the size results on the value of SAVR. We know that the volume of the sphere is given by 4 by 3 pi r cube where r is the radius and of the sphere and pi is a constant. Similarly, we will assume the radius of the sphere to be 10 units. The volume is calculated as 4188.79 and the surface area of the sphere is calculated as 1256.64. So SAVR is calculated as 0.3. On reducing the radius to 5, we get the SAVR equal to 0.6. On further reducing it to 1, the SAVR is increased to 3. So what do we conclude? We conclude that the value of the surface area to volume ratio increases substantially as the radius of the sphere is reduced. Now if we consider a cylinder, another shape. This volume of the cylinder is given by the formula pi r square h where r is the radius of the circular base and there are two circular bases in a cylinder, one at the top, one at the bottom. h is the height of the cylinder. Assuming the radius of the circular base to be 10 units and height to be 100 units and calculating the volume of the cylinder which will be 3 31,415.93 and there are two circular bases so we will sum up the surface for get, taking the surface area both the circular bases and getting the surface area as 6,911.5 as CVR will be calculated as 0.22. Now if we reduce this to 1 and height to 10 the radius of the circular base to 1 and height to 10, the SAVR which is calculated comes out to be 2.2. This again proves that there is a substantial increase in the value of SAVR when the radius and height of the cylinder both are reduced. So what are the properties of the nanoparticles dependent on the size? The nanoparticles exhibit unique properties due to their high surface area to volume ratio. These unique physical and chemical properties are due to the higher surface area at nanoscale size. For example, the optical properties are reported to be dependent on the size which imparts different colors due to absorption in the visible region. We have seen the example of gold nanoparticles which shows red color instead of gold and yellow of its bulk counterpart. Similarly, the mechanical, electrical, electronic and catalytic properties are also size dependent and are increased many folds compared to the bulk materials. What are some important properties of nanomaterials which make them unique? The important properties which make the nanomaterials unique are both physical as well as chemical properties. The physical properties includes size, 
shape, specific surface area, aspect ratio, aggregation state, size distribution, morphology or topography, structure including crystallinity and defect structure, solubility. The chemical properties includes structural formula, molecular structure, composition of nanomaterial which includes degree of purity, also the impurities present in it as additives, phase identity, surface chemistry which includes composition, charge, tension, reactive sites, physical structure, photocatalytic properties, zeta potential and hydrophilicity or lipophilicity. So we will study the properties of the nanomaterials in detail in my next upcoming video. Thanks for watching this video till end. Don't forget to share this video among your friends and also to subscribe to my channel.